Hey everybody, it's Charles and today I screwed up the R32. So if you were following me on social media or watch that video where I talked about all the problems with the R32, you saw a point where I talked about the window tint and you'll notice there's no tint on this window right here next to me, which is awesome. There's also no tint on the window in the back or the rear glass. I was working really hard on a DIY video to show you guys exactly how to do window tint removal without screwing up the windows, the car, all that, and most importantly, the rear defrost. That really is the most challenging part of doing the whole job. That and not making a total mess of your car. Well, I did three of the four windows to really develop the method and get it down perfect so I could show you guys how to do it and explain it, you know, reasonably. So I had one more window to do on the right front as well as the back glass and I was waiting on the right front so if I needed to I could shoot some b-roll. I followed all the steps. I did it exactly like you're supposed to, right? Exactly like my old tint guy in our old detail department told me how to do it step by step, followed it perfect, got the steamer on it, let it sit for 25 minutes almost till the steamer was out of water and you know easy does it, pull, 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 had a trim tool just easing off the uh, the window tint. As I pulled, the defrost line started coming with it. And that was the whole point of the video, was how to remove window tint without screwing up your defrost. And I failed miserably at it. I did exactly the opposite of what I set out to do, and that's show you guys the easy way to remove window tint without tearing up the defrost line. As soon as that first little line started to pull off, I stopped, I took some steps, to try and prevent any more, because if it's a little bit, you can fix that, and it just wasn't having it. I had also tried the black plastic bag method. I, I tried like four different things, and no matter what I did at that point where it starts, it was done. Game over, the defrost lines were coming off with the window film, whether I wanted it to or not. And it sucks, and I'm mad, and I'm, I'm disappointed in myself for screwing up, because let's face it, most people don't like to screw up, and I'm really mad because now I don't have a DIY video for you guys. It was going to be a great video. I, I did all of it, had some great footage, and unfortunately, it's not going to happen. What I really want the point of this video to be is not me whining or complaining that I screwed something up because I screwed it up, and that sucks. But what I really want to explain and, and pass on to you guys through this video is that no matter what, you can follow the repair manual to the T and use all the right special tools and take your time and be as careful as possible. Sometimes the stars just are not aligned right for a job to go well. This has happened to me in my career plenty of times where I took all the steps, did all the things right, and something broke or something went wrong or something completely out of my control happened. And no matter what I did, I couldn't undo it. You can't undo the defrost lines, right? You can paint them back on, but there's a point where there's really no point. And I, I really want you guys to understand that if you're just getting started as a professional, or if you've been a professional for 25 years, you probably already know this though, or if you're a DIYer, or you're fixing computers, whatever it is, mistakes are gonna happen. Sometimes you're careless and not paying attention and things can go wrong, things can break. But there are times where you could do it 100% right and it still not go perfect. I did all the rest of the glass. I mean, you see how clean the glass is. I did all the rest of the glass as well as I could do, as well as could be done with the equipment that I had. And I took that same approach, if not more so, being more careful with the rear glass. If you make a mistake as a pro, as a DIYer, less as a DIYer, more as a pro. If you make a mistake, the only solution is you own it and you do what you gotta do to fix it. For me, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. It might be, I might just finish scraping the rest of the lines off the glass and not having rear defrost. Maybe it's time for a Euro hatch. Maybe it's time for just a new piece of glass which is gonna cost me about 300 bucks. I don't quite know yet, but the truth of the matter is, that is not a big deal. The important thing here is I want you guys to know that you are not alone when you make a mistake. Professionals do it. I've made mistakes on jobs I've done a hundred times. 
sometimes not paying attention, but other times it just didn't go well. So keep your head up if you make a mistake, own your mistake, and then if you want to have a little temper tantrum about it, go ahead, but I promise you throwing wrenches does not help. Get past it, own it, fix it, do whatever it is you have to do to make it right and make it up, whether it's to a customer, for yourself, for a family member, a buddy, doesn't really matter. Do what you gotta do to make it right and that will help you feel better about that mistake that you just made. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. Questions, comments, any other advice you have for making mistakes, drop it down below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube or over on the blog at humblemechanic.com. Guys, I am really sorry that you are not going to get a tint removal DIY video from me. It was a video I was super jazzed up about doing for you. It was going so well until it didn't, and that sucks, and I'm sorry for that. It's one of those things. I wish I could put the tint back on it with the defrost lines and try it three or four more times to get 100% right, but you can't do that, and it doesn't work. So apology from me to you. If you need to remove tint, there are actually other great videos out there. My advice for it, be careful. Follow what the videos show, be even more careful than they explain. I think that's very important. If your tint is old and nasty and crusty, like mine was, uh, it may be worth paying someone to do. I don't know, that's totally up to you and the condition of your tint, or just leave it. This is not the first glass that I've seen that's beyond the point of repair where the little repair kits. I'll drop a link down in the description if you wanna check out the repair kits. So guys, with that, I'm out. Have an awesome week, and I will talk to you again next time.